Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the shaft in your freezer for your fridge. The reason why you might have to do this is because the shaft is damaged, causing your fridge drawer not to close properly. For this repair, we'll be using a flathead screwdriver and a quarter inch nut driver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the refrigerator we're going to be using for this demonstration. It's a Maytag, and keep in mind yours at home might be a little bit different than what we have here, but the same technique should still apply. First thing we're going to do is open up our freezer drawer. And we've got to remove the two screws that are holding the door on here. And now that those screws are off, we can just lift up on the door and it'll pull right off. And the next thing we need to do is remove these two bin stoppers here. And in order to get it off, what I'm doing is I'm twisting up like so, and that should free it. And same thing on this side, I'm just going to twist this up. And if you need to, just get a flathead screwdriver, wedge it in there, and give yourself a little bit of help there. So now that the stoppers are out, we can remove this top drawer here and we're just going to pull it all the way to the end and tilt it and take it out. And in order to remove this bottom drawer, all we have to do is simply lift it out. And pull it right out. And now we've got two screws on each of the slide that hold it on. So we're going to remove those next. And now we're going to take the screws out on the other side. And now I'm going to push the slides all the way back in. And then I'm going to carefully pull out and take these slides out. And now to separate the two slides, all we have to do is just pull one side out and the shaft pops right out. Also pull that out like that. Now, you can grab your new OEM replacement shaft, and if you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. Now, before we put the slides back into place, you'll see on the back side, there are two slots, and those will correspond with the two tabs that are sticking out on the freezer there. So what we're going to want to do is get our slide in there best that we can, then line it up, and slide it straight back. Now that it's on those tabs, you can screw it down. And now we just have to pull this slide out just a little bit so we can get on that bottom screw hole. And we'll just push the slide back in. And same thing for this slide. We're just going to line up those slots and then push it straight back. And now we can screw everything back in. And now we can pull this slide out and we can put the shaft into the hole on this slide, like so. Now I want to feed the gear clip onto the shaft and you're just going to want to make sure that the slot is facing the left hand side over here. Now I'll line up the shaft and put it into the slot right here. And then I'll take our clip here and we'll push that down and clip it into place. Then our slides should open and close together like so. So now we can put our drawer back in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna angle that back like so. And once you get it in there, just let it sit down. 
And then what we're going to want to do is get that top lid down on both sides. And then we're going to push it back so it goes past there because the back actually is like a clip and it latches on. And when you pull it forward, all those tabs right there should fit nicely into the slots there. So now we can put the top drawer back in. And when you do this, keep in mind, there are two sets of wheels. The wheels that are raised up higher are gonna go towards the back. And we're just gonna line up that wheel with the track. Make sure everything lines up. Set it in there. There we go. Now we're gonna push that back. And now we can replace the stoppers. And all we have to do is just line it up, push it straight back in. And now we're gonna line up these two round tabs here with the slots that are in the front of the drawer slide. And once those are lined up, set it down in there. And now we can screw it back into place. And now that we've got it screwed back into place, we can close our door and your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCAppliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.